and it is Alexia on this Grog as the Rome and is Nami with the Xavier. Can you guys make it happen? Yep. And uh, at the same time, I want to, you know, I, I think it's not just the game itself, right? I, I think it's just amazing Benedict, the cosplayer who just popped right. up and just forced into his AI. Oh my god. Yeah. Absolutely. Shout out to Jenny, right? Was there any shout Jenny? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jenny. Amazing cosplayer. Shout out to Sarah, No No, and uh, Yuki. But now going into the game, <laughs> Ling is uh, secures his own jungle. I really want to see aggression coming in from Ling Isa because, again, looking at both lanes, he can secure the kills here. Yeah, and uh, when it comes to the, the fights here, I feel like Goldie Loki playing Uranus is pretty easy for him to actually lane control. But his biggest question right now is like, the Uranus is able to, to, to play the macro game really, really well. But against a Diroff is right in your face, it's going to be very, very difficult to do so. However, top side, Lulios, he's losing his 1v1s and Min is going to be able to get free damage value across. And this is huge for Min in terms of advantage. Bottom side, Goldie Luke getting a, a little bit of visit coming in from Madiroff. And you can see immediately his HP is getting oh. cut down, but he does have to sustain. Zyra is getting a little bit angsty in this situation. Oh, Amal is there. He doesn't see Amal. This is going to be a burst uh, Karina because he is using the Mage Emblem. So, come on, let's look down here bottom. Iris, he has to run away. Amal is there. Iris has good information now. He knows where Lunatics is. So, RSGMY, how will they respond? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be very difficult for them to actually respond considering that they need a little bit more time to ease the Nami before he can actually start the fight. So the only thing he can contribute in the early stage of the game is pretty much setting up for stuns, you know, to allow Ling Aza to get the perfect abyss to try. So he needs to work in there, but Lexia, however, getting caught up, underestimating the damage burst coming from this Hilda. This is something that I did not expect and that's gonna hurt him in the butt because as of yet, Turtle will be secure from Saida, Team Lunix potentially. They're zoning out all them all out completely and RG and why they can't do anything about this. This is what happens when you give Rain the Julian with the magic worship. But hey, hey wait, 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 what, what happened? Lolias? Lolias got a kill. He won 1v1. What's going on? And now looking at the map, Lixia is going to get chunked down by Zeb. Iris is there to protect his own team. Link Aza, he's going for the kill. Zeb manages to run away. Rain, you're in a difficult spot here, buddy. But Ama is going to secure the kill onto Iris. Lixia is going to go down double kill onto Ama. Ama is going to die. Is Nami secures the kill onto Amal. A very messy team fight for both teams, but both teams got the kills. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Blunders after blunders. RG and Y, they completely swam onto us Rain. Rain was able to completely dodge everyone with the enhanced sword and forcing them in a very, very awkward position. However, Team Lunatics, they overextended their stay, got punished immediately right after. They could have gotten out scot free, but nevertheless, Great response coming from RSGMY, and they did oh. not lose that purple off. They almost lost Lolios. it. They almost lost it. Lolios is positioning himself very, very dangerously. It's a good thing Lexia is here, but this is what, what we're talking about. Lolios, sometimes he overextends. Good thing is, his team is there to respond, and Izanami, he's taking a lot of damage from Raid. Right now, the Dawning Light has been used, and the kill. Raid, he overextended. That was a little bit too much for his own liking. Yep, great punish coming from RGMY. This is exactly what Izanami needs to actually scale into the game. He's got 1 0 and 2, but Zef has get a kill. something to get a say. Kill. He will die for the cause, but at the same time, that is going to slow down Izanami's farm by a little. So. I don't know what's going on, but Va now down to the top side here. Imao is going to get trapped in his way, and RSG will get the pick off as well. Very nice engage from Lexia, stunning him a little bit. Rain as well as Goldie Look is there, but with the hand sword, he was able to run away. Lexia making good work. We're seeing quite a quite a good bit of grass, but what? Goldie Look. Okay. Oh, okay, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. It's not enough. Okay, if he, that was a kill, oh my god. He, he, he's got the stacks for the regen, so he's gonna be A okay. But nevertheless, I didn't expect the Keto to hit this hard, but well, never. As of yet, Goldilocks, he needs a couple more items before he scales his way through. Ling is up getting a Hunter Strike, so we are gonna be seeing Ling is up get a little bit more proactive in this situation. Lolios, before the snipe, Zef not gonna be comfortable in taking the shot, but Lolios is just aiming it for the right target, but eventually hits onto a Zeph, so nothing super crazy yet. Team Lunatix, they have to force a fight somehow, Ooh. but they just don't want to take Lolios. the risk. Lolios, he's going to get caught out. He's got the shotgun. He's trying oh! to burst Zeph down. He gets the kill, and that is huge for him. Rain immediately pots the sprint and back out. The tactical robot. Oh my god! Double kill! Double kill! 
so red. Oh my god, Lolias are being a little bit too much. No. Amal, come on, his HP solo. Amal, Amal, but Lixia closes the way. And Lolias, he's so low HP. Amal's going for it. Shut down. And he could have gotten to it way, way, way quicker. But Lolias, he's being a little bit too much. My heart can't take it. I, I like how Amal was a little bit afraid. He doesn't want to get pumped in the face by Lolios. And that's exactly what happened just now and then and there. And Zef underestimated the power. And that's that's what Be Beatrix brings to the table into the early stage of the game. You bring in a shotgun, you hide in the bush, you get a couple one pumps into the face, he is going to completely shred you. And you can see Lolios already has a Blade of Despair and he's opting to go for a Dreadnought armor to deal with the potential annoying Hilda. We got to look at Izanami as well. He already has his Clock of Destiny and he's on the way to complete his Enchanted Talisman. Once that is complete, RSGMI will have an easier time to control the map because the cooldown is just going to be a little bit too much. He can spam his Dawning Light to see where Team Lunatics is positioned at. Speaking of which, in and aim out is down here. Lixia wants oh, to go in, but no. that was a botched engage. Zeph is there. Lolias has to use the technical to run away, but look at the damage. Lolias is alone. The kill goes over to aim out, but Ling is a secures it for himself as well. Min gets the kill, and right now, Team RGMY Bosch engaged, but at least they did kill Amal. Nice catch coming from uh, Ling Aza from the sides. Abyssum Strike hitting on towards Amal on the sides with while the Shadow Down was down, down was a pretty big, pretty big catch coming from him. But nevertheless, uh, a little bit of punishment has been made. So Team Lunatics is not too far off, and that's going to be Min taking the tier one down bottom. So a little bit more objectives in their favor. Dominance eyes up on Goldie. Look, Holy Crystal up on Amal. So that is going to be a little bit more damage coming in from their favor. Lixia now. With the concealed play, he's trying to zone him out. The chains does catch him by a clip. But the turtle down to the three seconds. Zef going to back lines. He's trying to focus on low oh, heels. But the turtle will be stolen by Ling Aza. But now the retaliation, the punish, a big dawning light coming from Izanami is going to push our, push Team Lunatics back. And that is going to be the end of that engagement. What? Link Aza was able to steal that? What? What happened? But yeah, in this game, Lolios, he is in cut. He's oh no. in position oh no. to die. And man, he could not secure it. Reigns takes it over. And this is going to be very dangerous because man, he was not pressured at all the entire game. Goldie Low taking too much damage. Izanami secures the kill with the dawning light. But the real problem is going to go over to mid. RGMY, you guys got to shut him down. Yeah, I I'm really surprised that Godilo completely got shut down then and there. Like, I was expecting Iris to not hit this hard. And wow, that's that's some serious firepower coming from RGMY. And I feel like in this situation, Izanami 3 one five. I talked about how, you know, Xavier is going to struggle. He's hit to a stage where he's got a couple big items. He's got the magic shop. He's got, like... 3, 1, and 5. I would say this is a dream game for the savior right now. Yeah, and honestly, this is the difference. Oh but Lynx, yeah, engages. There's no way for them to run another kill for Izanami. Goldie look is getting punished heavily. And Ling Iza gets a kill. And right now, they're going for Zef, but Zef is too fast. So they're going to focus on the objectives. No one is stopping Team RSGMY. They're trying to get the inhibitor from down here at the, at, at the top side of the map. Trades after trades after trades. Team Lunatics, they have no way to deal with Izanami as of yet. Lolios gonna be chipping on a tier 3. And Min, he's not even back in base yet. And this is a good time for RGMI to actually oh, force Lingeza. a fight. But Ling Aza, they're calling in Iris as well. And they immediately shred through his way while the rest of RNG has to back off. Team Lunatics is trying to force a fight. A great stun lock coming from Izanami, but it's not gonna do him good as he only we will be able to save Lolios' life only. Yeah, and RSG, they're going straight for the Lord because they know everyone is up at the top side. They can get this Lord very, very easily. Yeah, they, they, they got it pretty easy. But I, I got to say, this is the difference with HYHY and Iris. HYHY is super disciplined and he's really good at setting up the team fights. He's really good at zoning. Yeah. Iris, he just likes to go for the kills. He, he he sees an opportunity, he's gonna go for it. This is the big difference between Iris oh, and his kills. He's looking for the punch. Imao getting comboed down to a 10%. Ah! The dawning Ooh! light misses by an inch. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's gonna be close, but Iris now gonna be baiting into a fight. He's trying to taunt Golden Look into a force fight, but it seems like they're not taking the bait. They're moving up top. RSGMY gonna be focusing on the middle turret. Great snipes on towards Rain. It's gonna scare him off. 
but Team Lunatics, they need to find a way to fight back, and as of yet, RG just walking ring around Roses against them, and they're just completely disrespecting the map control of Team Lunatics. Yeah, Team Lunatics, they gotta look at Rain because he's the only one that can really hard engage onto RSG. Why? If he gets a good enhanced chain, then they can follow up because other than that, Goldie Luke, he can't set things up. And Zeph, he can focus on one target, but that's just one target. RSG and Moi, they have a lot of problems. Izanami, Link, Aza, Lolias, and now even Iris, he's super tanky, but he can dish the damage because your play has been used. Wow, Lixia going for a preemptive measure, donning like her next as well. RNG, they get the kill onto the Julian, and they're looking for the Hilda on top of it all. The rest of Team Lunatics, they have to back up. Min is gonna get caught off as well. Great counter engagement. Izanami almost sniping Min, but the rest of Team Lunatics, they walked into a setup, completely oh! shut them down, and a big what? dawning light to finish things off. As Team Lunatics, they will lose four Min will try to salvage the situation, but the damage has been done. Izanami now 6 to an 8, and we forgot how dangerous this Xavier can be. His, I think he only has like, what, 2 or 3 items, but that is enough. The amount of times he can use the Dawning Light in one single team fight is too much. But then the damage that he's pushing and the crowd control that he's putting down, Team Lunatics, they're having difficulty to actually have... Oh, Iris has the most amount of damage? What? What, what is going on? 43,000? Iris, yo! Yeah, that's crazy, right? Like, I was expecting this to be like a tank Paquito, but my goodness, he's just putting up some serious numbers. And that's why I was a little bit questionable as well, because how the Goldie Lock takes so much damage from Iris itself. I'm looking forward to see how the itemization is progressed for him. But for now, Lexia is going to be invading the orange buff. He's going to try to deny Team Lunatics as much as utilities. But now, with the item pickups coming in, just you can see items. Bloodless X and Hunter Strike, and looking for what? A Rose Gold Meteor up on Iris, I guess? Uh, it looks like that's the only thing that, that he really needs. Honestly, with the Hunter Strike, it's enough because you just want that penetration. But this is a Fighter Emblem, not an Assassin Emblem. That's a lot of damage. That hurts quite a bit. RGMY now 4,000 gold up. Goldie, look, he wants to frontline, but apparently RGMY is doing too much damage. Even as a Uranus, he can't take the damage from oh RG. My goodness. Oh and my Iris goodness. goes in! Okay, okay, what is that damage? Lolios with the snipes, but it's not going to be over yet. Iris from the sides, trying to scare him off. Team Lunatics was caught off by surprise by Zev. What are you doing? You're all by yourself. In the hands of Lolios, you will go back to the base. <laughs> oh my god, Iris, he can deal the damage. And he can absorb a lot of damage. Look at that. Goldie, look, he's the front line, but he's taking quite a lot. And Izanami has scaled up. Lolios has scaled up. Now, Team Lunatics, the Lord is pushing from the top side of the map. And RGMY, they're going to pressure here in bottom. The conceal has been used by Lixia, but looks like they're not going to engage just yet. They want to make sure that they secure the turret. They got one. They're focusing on mid. And looks like they're going to get two. Zero here for Team Lunatics, and the Lord is pushing in. Yep, with the Lord pushing in, Goldie Low taking a little bit too much damage. He is going to be A-OK -okay and survive this, but I'm not exactly sure if he's going to buy time because Lord is going to be knocking from the top side. Link Aza looking for the setup. He's got the Immortality. He's looking for the big catch, but Link Aza will start things off. Here comes the Dawning Light. They take down Zeph, but from the back line, they will not be able to do anything. But they trade off the Paquito, but now with the Crystal exposed, RSGMY will say Game 1 is in the bag. RSG, I kind of feel like they took...